I just set up a business manufacturing in India. And in this video, you're gonna find out how drastically different it is doing business in India compared to here in the UK. In the first episode, we opened the factory, we met our team, we discussed production, and we sourced materials to make our products. So if you haven't seen episode one, make sure you go and check it out first. In the last video, I showed you our brand new factory, but it's now time to meet Manny again to show you how operations work in India at his main site. I'm four hours from Mumbai in a town that I don't know what it's called. There's no tarmac on the roads. It's like being in the middle of the jungle. But this is Manny's factory. This is his main factory. So we've got two factories doing stuff for us. One solely for Teddy Tasta, but this is actually the first one that made all my uniforms. How this relationship started. 15 years ago, I wanted unique uniforms and I sourced Manny through networking and finding a partner that could make stuff that I wanted that was unique. So he made my party man uniform, then he made all my twizzle tops uniform. Uh, look, there's even children's uniform he's made for me. And the Marsh Farm uniform. To think all of this has come from here. It's where East meets West back into the UK. So we're going to meet Manny now, go over some more details of the production that we've got planned for the next year. It's going to be good. Let's go. Full tour, okay? Yeah, yeah. Manny, I noticed this thing. It's a cultural thing. Do you all put a pen here? Like every Indian man I've noticed. Yeah. Otherwise, where, where will you keep the pen? Well, just on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> What's that machine do there, Manny? Yeah, that's, these are the cutting machines. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. For the see. shirts over there. And now well, he's going to do that by eye? Yeah, using his eye, but he's all marked over here. He's not using a computer to do it? At the factory, there's a laser cutting. This is a manual cutting. What if he makes a mistake? No, he can't. That's why he's, he's, been, he's been paid by 500 pounds per month not to do the mistake. He's, he's a highly paid, these are the highly paid workers over here. That 500 pounds a month. And that's highly paid? They're highly paid, yeah, trust me, they're highly paid in India. What's it, and he's got a bit of metal on his hands? Yeah, because uh, that blade is moving, that's very dangerous actually. So, yeah. uh, accidentally it isn't that. <laughs> <laughs> Very dangerous, yeah. <laughs> I get that. Hence the chain mail. What are you doing there? She's doing the marking for the embroidery. Can you do all this yourself? Never in my life. <laughs> but you know what they're doing? Of course, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I thought you might have learned it from the ground no, up. I never, I never, I never learn all these technical things, basically. Tomorrow, See you tomorrow, Amit. Thank you. I like Amit. Yeah, really like We're going to deal with him and cut you out. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> I'm more than happy. <laughs> I want to retire anyway. <laughs> so that's embroidery yeah. on steroids. Correct. I need to know, how, what, do you, what do you turn that into? The world's favourite Indian. Oh, they got it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ours, isn't it? That, that is a fleece. Uh, yeah. Apple, yeah. Wow. You've made some of them over the years now, haven't you? We need to talk about them. I think you're charging us too much for our uniforms. James, uh, you have flight tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> better, better you crack packing your thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your electric bill a month? Electric bill over here, I am paying around seven to 800 pounds a month. What, for all this? Yeah. A lot of money. This would be a lot more than seven hundred pound at home in England. How many members of staff do you have here? Staff. Yeah. Probably around twenty. Twenty. Staff. Only the staff. Or you number I of people. I see more than twenty here. No, no, no. You mean the number of people? Yeah. Total no. number of people. Yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. In this building. In this building. Yeah. And what's the salaries of the people in here? Ranging from two hundred to five hundred pounds a month. And that's I a six-day week. Six day week, yeah. If you were on 200 via 500, who'd, what makes the difference? The, the, the quality of the work, what, what work they do, cleaning and all these things, they'll get 200 pounds. A tailor, they'll get 300. Yeah. A proper tailor will get around 400. And highly skilled person will get 500. And how much tax would they pay out of their salary? Uh, it's, it's not much, it's not more than 10%. And so is, is 500 pounds a really good salary over here? In India, it is a good salary. 35,000 rupees for this, 350 pounds. Yeah. But they last you. You get like 10 years out of them. Easy. Easy. How much have you spent setting up of the new factory? What all the machines and total in for the new factory? I have spent around 50,000 pounds only on machinery. With the laser cutting, with the, the fiber stuffing, the metal detectors, these machines. And we'll get 10 years out of that easily. Easy. Are you, is it easy to recruit people if you wanted another 100 people like that or hard? It will take a few days, but we can get it. <laughs> a few days? 
Yeah. And how so, would you find people? Oh, there, there are groups of the people. They do. 20 people, 30 people. They, they bring the people. There's no agencies or...? Uh, well, there are agencies, but now the agents are uh, in, in ourselves only now. Because... Your staff, your agents? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> staff is the uh, They're not messing around, that one. Yeah, no, yeah. Everybody's fast because most of them, they are on the I'm scared day. of you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the boss is here, in the boss fact, is here. No, nobody's, nobody's scared of me at all in the factory. Solar panels power? The factory. Uh, but at least whatever energy I gather, I sell it to the power company over here, but we get a reduced bill then. Fine. So if you didn't have that, would your £800 a month be yeah. a lot more? Yeah. So what do you reckon, this halves your bill? Uh, yes. And what do all these factories do here? Majority they are engineering factories. And how far is the Teddy Tastic factory from here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much did you pay for this factory money? You bought the factory? No, this, this is on rent. So what do you rent it for a month? 20,000 pound a month? Yeah. That's dear. That's so dearer sorry, than the two, UK. 2,000 pound a month. Oh, 2,000 pound yeah, a month. It's a, yeah. 2,000 pound a month. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. that's yeah. dearer than Essex. No, no. <laughs> and could you, and you can't buy it? I can. Why don't you? If that is our own factory. The yeah, yeah, Teddy Tastic one. one. And what would, it, what would it cost to buy this? If I am to buy, it will be 400,000 pounds. So that's expensive. That's expensive. For 2,000 pound, I can't go wrong. Why should I buy it? I'm shocked that it's so expensive. It is expensive. No. No, we're going to stop work where I'm in charge now. <laughs> okay. Listen to the Englishman. Manny, you should be very proud of this. This is a big operation, Fantastic, isn't it? Manny. I was impressed with Manny's operations. He'd really scoured his factory and business up quite quickly, which would be much easier to do than, say, in the UK. The next morning, I went into Manny's office to discuss cash flow, because wherever you are in the world, there's always cash flow problems if you're an entrepreneur. I fully understand. <laughs> More than probably anyone else you tell. Yeah. 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 Because we just start spending. The moment money is there, we spend it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, once we get it right, then it's done. Put, buy new machinery, buy this, buy that, um, buy that. I was not really sometimes it's worst having big lump up front, because it goes as just as quick, doesn't it? Like regular cash flow is so much better. And that's why I built the nurseries, Manny. Mm. Is that every month that comes in, this teddy bear business, like for us at Christmas, we invest in stock, and then don't get paid. And then you get paid in a lump, then you pay everything back. Oh, you can feel demoralising, can't it? Because you think, oh, it's all gone. And Where's your payroll a month, Manny? Payroll month, date. Yeah, no, about £30,000 a month. Yes. Could you, well, could you want me to make you feel better and tell you what mine is? £600,000 a month now. That is massive. You have to keep it in your mind all the time. That's why I'm always affectionate when I know I can see you, the, the, the things you're doing are very similar to what I do. I can... Yeah, sometimes it's stressful. Yeah. yeah, I get it. I really get it. Another day, another rupee. <laughs> it's another day, it's another rupee here in Pune. We're now driving to one of the factories of the two. Um, we went to what can only be described as PC World in England, but the uh, Indian version of it. Um, I'm going to find the owners of that shop and see if I can do some consultancy work with them on just halving their staff bill. There was staff everywhere and it still took us what seemed like 20 minutes to buy this gift for Manny because we've been having video calls with him and uh, we just can't hear him because he just doesn't seem to understand that if you cover the microphone on your phone you can't hear the voice so we're we're hoping this sort of gaming console headphone thing will thus improve our technological communications when we get back into the UK. Hello Manny, today's a good day. Why? Present day for Manny. Present day. Present day. <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hear you perfectly now. <laughs> A big chunk of our time here in India was making sure that our research and development was on point to make sure our products are fantastic. Over the last few days we've been working on the development of the stuff here with the team in India. It's quite painful and time consuming how much R&D goes into stuff and I think for a business owner it's so important that your gross profit is high because you get all these costs, all that time that goes into selling something. You know people think oh I make that 50p and I sell it for a pound and you've only got 50p of gross profit. I mean, the amount of time that goes into generating a product from idea to, to actually getting it good enough to sell. I mean, we're going for a pink rabbit here. We must have gone through seven designs, 
20 different eyes, four different noses, and all that time and everyone's energy that goes into it. But once you've got it set up, the good thing about this business is that product will keep making it for the next five, 10 years. And so that's a good positive thing. What I love about this, the team that I've met, I trust them, they trust me. I've built up over a 15 year process. Why do I bother getting on the plane and flying out here? Because obviously technology's here now and we could just do everything over WhatsApp and videos. And that's had its challenges. It's not as good as seeing people face to face. They know us now. We're doing laughs and jokes and smiling and even, you know, you know, putting our arms around each other. That whole relationship building is crucial. And that, I believe, gets you better prices. You can understand their stress points. I absolutely understand. What I'm asking Manny to do here is build a potential million pound revenue business with just buying from India. And yeah, he's got fabric, he's got team and everything, but he goes through the same cash flow pressures as me. We're having a conversation about cash flow and I could see, you know, his eyes worrying about how he's going to finance this. So I've come up with a way of how I can help his cash flow where I'll pay him weekly now in advance before he's made anything because I trust him because of that 15 year relationship. But that also helps me so I don't have to jump out a quarter of a million pounds on stuff here, there and everywhere. That helps his labour and then that gives him the confidence to carry on investing, crucially in R&D and more capex, more equipment to build this factory up so that we together as a long-term partnership can carry on growing this business. Well, that's it, gang. That's our India adventure over. Don't forget, if you haven't seen part one, go and check that out on the channel. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we're bringing out great new videos to help grow your business. Let me tell you now, we've got some corkers in the pipeline, gang. But here's something I know that will help grow your business. It's my business masterclass. I'm running a two-day event in London. Tickets are only a few hundred quid packed out with value, no sleazy sales, no upselling to coaching, just me delivering all the best stuff I know about business. It's gonna be great. In London, two days, I'm gonna show you all about property investment, buying companies with as little money as possible, raising finance, finding people, and increasing the profits in your business, because I'm acutely aware most business owners don't make the profits they should be. Make sure you're doing the right stuff to catapult the growth of your business. So if you wanna come and do the meetup, see me in London for two days, it's going to be amazing. Tickets only a few hundred quid. You can buy them at jamesinclairbmc.net. That's this hyperlink here, or there's a link in the video description. I'll see you in London at Business Masterclass to Great Business. Bye bye.